Hey guys, Joel Seedman here. In today's video, I want to go over the proper form for dips. And the reason that I want to do that is because dips are probably the most subtly butchered exercise that I see. And uh, probably one of the reasons for that is there's not much discussion about what constitutes as a proper dip. You hear a lot of talk and a lot of debate and writings about squats, deadlifts, bench press, all the techniques that go with those exercises. There's not that much information out there about dips, and even if there is, um, it's kind of limited and they don't go over uh, the real in-depth mechanics that we're looking for. So what I want to do here is kind of start off with what is commonly seen and why it's incorrect, okay? So what you often see with dips is people will try to go too deep and their shoulders will roll over, they'll get internal rotation, okay? We don't want that, obviously. You wouldn't perform uh, any other exercise like that for whatever reason. It's become fairly accepted with dips, okay? But we do not want that to happen. And you're gonna see here in a second, I'm actually gonna go ahead and demonstrate this right now. This is gonna look like a bent over row, okay? Just like a bent over row, we would go here. We wouldn't let the elbows come out and the shoulders roll over. So what we're gonna do, in order to do that, we have to hinge over at the hips, again, just like a bent over row. To do that, we have to hollow out the core and get tall, driving the legs slightly in front with our toes dorsiflex, depressing and retracting the scapula. Okay, so we're over the handles, not the back sag. Right here, slow, boom, right there. Drive it back up. Again, nice, tucked with the elbows, proper mechanics, not letting anything roll over at the bottom. Okay, so that's proper dip. And again, you just saw what uh, I had to do in order to create those mechanics. The next thing I want to talk about is the ring dips. And if you perform dips on parallel bars properly, they will look and feel identical to ring dips. A lot of people think, oh, ring dips feel so much different and so much uh, uh, more unique than normal dips. They shouldn't. They should be identical in their mechanics and really how they feel uh, if they're both done properly, okay? And this is probably why you hear lifters talk about how uh, they can perform dips on rings with no pain. When they do it on parallel bars, there is pain. That's just because they don't know how to set their shoulders and their, their uh, body position to where it needs to be with the rings because it's so unstable, it kind of automatically causes centration of the glenohumeral joint. With the parallel bar, it doesn't do that, even though the lifter should uh, consciously know how to do that. So that's kind of the difference. So again, the, the dip on rings is no different, exactly the same. Again, get nice and tall, hinge over, hollow out the core, retract the shoulder blades, depress the scapula, boom, right there. When I go any deeper in that, everything comes out, okay? So I'm going, 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 and if you feel your shoulders roll over and your lats are no longer firing, okay, that's too far. And again, it's, it's no different than a bent over row. We would never perform a bent over row like this. Why would we perform a dip any other way? The, other, the last thing that I wanna mention here is the mechanics for dips are almost the same for a push-up, okay? So if I'm doing a push-up, I'm right here. A dip is the same thing, just bent over, right there. Nothing moved, nothing shifted, okay? And we know that push-ups out here is improper, okay? And that's how a lot of people do dips. Again, tuck the scapula, okay? Tuck the elbows, get the spine set, push-up, okay? Dip, all right? So, just giving you a few different cues so you can kind of apply them and see which ones work best for you, but give these things a try and let me know what you think, all right? Thanks.